What's up guys, my name is Ace, and yesterday we got some more information about the new subway system that's going to be added to Warzone for Season 6. And a lot of it is looking like really good news, to me at least. Now I did talk about my feelings about the subway when it was initially revealed in the little teaser we got for Season 6. And at the time, I was very concerned with how this subway system would turn out. My main concern was that there would be all these tunnels that people could be hiding in and walking through and traversing the map through these tunnels, and it would basically just spread things really thin and slow the overall pace of the gameplay down because not only are there people above ground, then you've also got people underground. However, with the blog post that we got yesterday from Activision, it actually cleared up most of my concerns with the subway system. And now I'm actually looking forward to it quite a bit. So let's cover all of the important details that we learned about this subway system. First up, we got this map of the subway system, which is much more clear than what we saw in the little teaser. And with this, we have seven stations located around the map. We've got Lozov Pass, Verdansk Center, which is the stadium or just outside the stadium. We have one downtown in Tavors District. Then in the Barraket Shopping District, we got another one there. After that, there's one at the Verdansk train station. Then at Torsk Block, and then finally Verdansk International Airport. And many of these stations actually already exist in Warzone and have since Warzone launched. However, some of them currently don't exist and they will be added in the Season 6 updates, like the one that's just outside of the stadium, for instance. Now, it's also worth noting that you can go either direction with this. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. It just depends on which train you end up getting on. So you do have a lot of control over which way you're going. Additionally, I think the biggest thing that I'm excited for here is it turns out the tracks are electrified. And what that means is you can't actually traverse these tunnels on foot. You will die if you touch the tracks. So that's already addressed my main concern with this subway system. Like I said, I was worried people would basically just be hiding in the tunnels all game and just traversing the map and avoiding the gas by just walking through the tunnels. And that would really slow the pace of the game down and spread people thin. Turns out, that's not going to be happening. Instead, as they describe it in this blog post, the subway system is actually going to be a fast travel system. And in video game terms, when we're talking about fast travel, usually this means that you're basically teleporting from A to B. So from the sounds of it, you get on one of these subway trains and it effectively just teleports you to the next available station as long as it's safe, rather than you actually sitting on there and waiting for it to go from point A to point B. At least that's how it sounds based on the blog post. They did say fast travel many times throughout the blog post, so I don't think it was just a little slip up. It does seem to be a proper fast travel or like teleporting system. But you'll notice I also said when it's safe. It turns out if you are trying to go to a station that's in the gas already or the gas is collapsing in on that station, it will actually bypass that station and it will go to the next available station that is safe. So there's even a chance it'll bypass several stations just to put you into the next safe one. And this is great news as well. It seems like they've really thought this through so you don't run into a stupid situation where you hop on a train and then you appear in the gas and there's just nothing you could do to survive in that situation. And I think that's awesome. I think late game, like if there's only two stations available and they happen to be pretty far apart, you could essentially teleport yourself from one end of the circle to the other essentially instantly, which is quite interesting. And if anything, this is really going to speed the pace of the gameplay up, I think, rather than slow it down. Now, a few other little notes. If there's any fighting going on in the train or right next to the train, like within the immediate vicinity of the train, it won't work. So this is going to prevent those situations where maybe you're fighting down in one of the stations. You don't want the person that you just got really, really hurt. You don't want them just hopping onto a train and teleporting away. That would be a really annoying sort of an experience. Also, it looks like they're going to have multiple entrances and exits to each of the train stations. Since they're all underground stations, obviously, because this is a subway, there's going to be the main primary entrance, which you can already see that main sort of primary entrance in the existing stations where you just go down the stairs and it's a big open sort of entrance. But on top of this, they said for most stations, there's also going to be a ladder that you can climb out of. Presumably, you'll come out of basically like a manhole, which just gives you an extra option for getting out, which again, it seems like they've really been thinking this through. And now it's going to be a bit more difficult for people to just sort of camp you out at a station and only give you one way to get out of that station. Now you've got at least two ways on most stations, as they said. It won't necessarily be on all of the stations. And with that, that's pretty much all the important information you need to know about this new subway that's coming to Verdansk. Now that I've seen this blog post, I'm actually quite excited to see how this changes the way that the game plays. 
I think for a lot of people that are going to be chasing high kill games, for instance, this is going to be great because once you clear an area out and you know you've killed all the teams in the vicinity of that area, instead of running across the map or needing to grab a vehicle and make sure you put a trophy system on to be safe, you can just hop on the subway, end up on a different part of the map, and now you can start slaying out in that area of the map. Or in other situations where maybe you find yourself way outside of the circle and that gas is about to start moving and there's no vehicles around, maybe this will be a great way to use that as a last ditch effort to hop on a train and get you into a safe location. Overall though, I'm just really excited to see how this changes the dynamic of Warzone. Hopefully it will end up being a good change. Of course, we don't really know how it's going to play out. Maybe it will end up turning out horrible and I'll end up hating it after a while, but at least based on what we've seen so far, I'm quite optimistic now. Now, before we wrap up the video, there's something else that's really important to point out here. This is actually kind of big news. And I first saw this was noticed by Modern Warzone on Twitter, so I will leave that link down below. But in the blog post for the header image, if you take a really close look of this, you can see several operators, or operator skins at least, that we don't have in Season 5. So these are going to be Season 6 skins and operators. And there's one operator in particular that really stood out here, and that's this guy right here, which most of you Zombies players will immediately recognize. This is Nikolai from the Black Ops Zombies franchise. As far as we can tell here, Nikolai is coming as an operator in Season 6 for Warzone, or maybe they're just going to be copying and pasting his clothing on a different operator, but this actually does go along with all the leaks we've been getting that they're prepping for a zombie-type mode for Warzone, and that's going to help tie the storyline together between Modern Warfare's version of Warzone and the upcoming Cold War's version of Warzone. So yeah, this is just another hint that something zombies related is coming to Verdansk in season six at some point. There's also a rumor of a nighttime mode, although that might even be the same mode. Maybe the nighttime mode's gonna be the zombies mode or there's gonna be some crossover there. In either case, we've got a little bit more hinting at that. And I'm really excited to see what they've got, mainly just because I am so bored of modern warfare at the moment. There's just nothing new and exciting that's been going on lately. So I am so ready for a new season. Can't wait to hop back into Warzone and see what they've got for us and see how this all plays out. But with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comments section below. Now that we have this extra information about the subway system in Verdansk, what do you guys think about it? Are you excited for it? Do you think it'll make the gameplay better? Or do you think it'll end up actually making the gameplay overall worse? Also, what are your thoughts on Nikolai apparently appearing in this image for Season 6? Do you think he is coming as an operator? And do you think this is going to be tying together that storyline between Modern Warfare and the upcoming Cold War Zombies? Just let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.